Oh. Cheese burger, burger, please. There you go. And hey, we'll do it right there. We up? Oh, we're, we're cooking. Here okay, we go. it's Mr. Archibald. We call him the Outlaw. This is Tyler. He is the man behind Outlaw Burgers. And, yep. and, and your catering company only does one thing, right? One thing. And yep. that is the fair. That's the fair, once and, a year. And you are famous not only for this delicious beef. Let me see if I, if I can flip one of these bad boys. Oh, you, see, there you go. You catch that? Yeah. Now, these things are mooing for love. Yep. What's the first thing we do to make one of these delicious? What do you call it again? What's the name of this? Okay, Signature so, burger? Yeah, so it's a bullseye burger. The bullseye burger. If you've yep. never heard one of these, it involves something special. Yep. So we need cheese, right? Yep. Well, no. So first, we grab the barbecue sauce. Oh, hang on. Stand by. So, so this barbecue. is the uh, this is a secret here. So some people say we don't have any bar you don't have any barbecue sauce on it, but it's underneath the cheese. Oh, it's hidden underneath the that's cheese. That's how you do this. Yep. This is the secret to the bulls pie burger. Yep, that's right. All right, now that's we right. also have to have something else. I just met a kid who's raising some livestock. Bacon. So I'm gonna go yep. over here. Here we go. We'll take one. Oh, look at this. Slaps of this. You ready for this? this yep. May, this may be the ultimate big dog. Yep. All right. Where'd you come up with this idea? Well, it's actually my wife. So she. Uh, Courtney? Courtney I, or Archibald? I love, Courtney I love Outlaw. burgers on, on regular buns. Now, the secret ingredient okay. is this. You work with a local company to give the canvas for this uh, yes. burger. What, yep. Tell it's, me about uh, it. Brolum's and Rigby. And what so do they, they do make, for you? They make all the donuts fresh. They okay. make all the donuts these, fresh every morning. These are special spuds. Yep. Correct? Yep, there's spud there nuts. Go. So these have a special texture to them that no one else has. Let's load that bad boy up right yep. there. And I'm going to squirt it with some more of that BBQ sauce. Okay. And this is how you make the bullseye burger. Yep. Only available. It, oh, look at that. That looks pretty tasty. Now, now, would you mind holding that while yep. I do this? Yep. I think this may be award winning right here. I think so. You, <laughs> where can people find you on the internet? Do y'all? Uh, Outlawcatering.com. Look at this. Uh, we've also got a Facebook. We've got an Instagram. Um, Outlaw Catering Co. Uh, if you haven't had this yet, you're missing out. Go. Man, that's delicious. Hey, thanks for the patty. That's delicious. Uh, you're right. That's great. That barbecue sauce does make it. That makes it. I may have to borrow your shirt as a napkin. Yeah. I got my apron on. Let's talk about the smoke. Let me show you the map. We do have a break in the smoke for the afternoon with some clearing around here, and I think it's going to be really smoking hot, too. We're going to have temperatures in the mid-90s. We're going to be coming to the weekend. I do think that you'll enjoy the forecast that we have planned for this weekend. Things are going to be, things going to be a little milder as we head into Saturday and Sunday, and uh, yeah, you can see we got a little bit of a break there with the smoke around, and things will be uh, tapering off with some uh, scattered showers as we head into Friday, and uh, then we're going to see the winds pick up too, maybe for the afternoon, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Man, I can't, I just, I almost, I had a conniption when I ate that burger. That's good. Uh, and it has thrown the internet here into uh, wackiness because everybody is here. So I'll just go ahead and tell you, we're going to be in the lower 90s. We'll be in the mid 80s by Friday, about 75 with the showers passing through on Friday evening. And it'll be about 76 as we get into Saturday in Pocatello. We got a concert Saturday night, Kip Moore on September 11th. He will be at the Portnip Health Trust Amphitheater. And ladies, he's been known to take his shirt off. I don't know why, but I, I've heard this, and I've been to a concert before, and I really wish he would stop. Uh, <laughs> but then we're going to have a nice dry stretch of mid-70 days or so out at the fair to wrap things up. And I think you're going to enjoy this fall-like weather that is approaching as we get into a Saturday. But look out for a scattered shower, maybe an isolated shower, into early tomorrow for our mountain communities. But Blackfoot hey. is going to be hot for the afternoon. Order up, baby. Bullseye. Yep. Did that sound good? That sound Perfect. good? Perfect. That's big time, isn't it? I need another slab of cheese. Rexburg will be about 90 for the afternoon. And, Wendy, the outlaws are in business right here at the entrance to the food court circus. Salmon has uh, smoke and about 93 for the afternoon, 84 tomorrow, and a 40% chance of showers, 76. Don't throw that away. That's mine. And the people at the Brolin Rigby's, y'all need to stop. That's good, good, good. Uh, spud nuts. And we'll get into Jackson with some shower chances that are about one in three. About 80 degrees for Friday. And we'll be back into the 70s. Uh, we'll go back to Dylan right yes. now. Because I have lunch to eat, sir. I've had one of those before. Those are really good. So I'll give you a little bit of time to enjoy that. All right. Thank you so much, Jeff. Yes.